college football season unofficially starts today with Big 12 Media Days in Vegas. And in case you missed any of the new cartography on the conference landscape or you're not sure who's playing where or who's coaching whom, or you just want to feel like kickoff is coming soon, here's Professor Ryan McGee. Ah, summer is here. The mercury's rising. The AC's getting cranked up. Ugh, I can already feel myself sweating through my clothes. But don't worry. I have a frosty fix for that fever. Just close your eyes. Conjure up images of crisp fall foliage swaying gently in the cool breezes of autumn. Dancing to the snare snap of a drumline. That's right, college football is just weeks away. The electricity, the atmosphere. It's the beauty of college football. But to be ready for this season, we're gonna need to do a little homework because our familiar 155-year-old friend has never looked more different. Like that one crazy ant who shows up every Thanksgiving looking like another episode of Botched. So who and what is where? Open your notes app and listen up. The Titans of the Southwest are now in the Southeastern Conference. The Pac-12 is now the two-pack, as everyone else has either departed for the Big Ten Big 12, or if you're in the Bay Area, the ACC. No, not the Chesapeake Bay, the San Francisco Bay. The travel secretaries of all these schools are going to have a field day. Kalen DeBoer is the new head coach at Bama. So yeah, Nick Saban is no longer calling the shots in Tuscaloosa, though he does still live there, has an office there, and his statue stands right outside the stadium. Jimbo Fisher is also gone, replaced as the number one 12th man by Mike Elko. And Jim Harbaugh walked off Michigan's CFP celebration stage and headed for the NFL. That leaves only three active college head coaches with national championship rings. North Carolina's Mac Brown won it back in 2005. The other two, Clemson's Dabo Sweeney and Georgia's Kirby Smart, live only 75 miles apart, and they play week one in Atlanta. Meanwhile, the transfer portal is running like a merry-go-round driven by Max Verstappen. Washington State QB Cam Ward is now a hurricane. Dylan Gabriel, who I'm pretty sure played for Newt Rockney, is now with his third team under center at Oregon. Former Clemson QB DJ Ui Ungulale is now with the Tigers' nemesis and fellow ACC realignment rabble rouser, Florida State. It is a new era of college football transfer portal really all throughout the year. All of this while Ohio State just had a better offseason town hall than anyone not named the Philadelphia Eagles. In Colorado, man, I don't even know what all is going on with the Buffaloes. I just know I can't stop reading Coach Prime's social media posts. Then fall will, well, fall into a winter time, the likes and links of which we have never seen. A college football playoff bracket expanding from four teams to 12. Imagine Friday and then the Saturday on campus. That's what I think a lot of these teams have wanted to earn. See, I told you it was a lot to know. But honestly, all we really need to know is this. Your school is still your school. College football is still awesome. <gasps> and kickoff is just weeks away. Can not wait. CFB is coming. Of course, that means Coach Fran Brown at Syracuse. Plenty of exciting matchups to kick off the college football season, starting with Florida State, Georgia Tech, and Ireland in week zero. Week one, you got Georgia, Clemson, Miami, Florida, Notre Dame, Texas A&M. USC and LSU meet in Las Vegas, and then in week two, defending champ Michigan hosts Texas. Give me something. Give me something.